Hi, my name is Elizabeth and I'm here with Sam and Nathaniel and we're here today to talk about the CME exclusive Jazz Masters. So for a while at Chicago Music Exchange, we've had the Jazz Master in exclusive colors like Ice Blue Metallic, Shell Pink, Sunburst, but now also in olive and black with matching headcaps. Which are your favorites? For sure, the olive. I like the black. I like that they both have matching headcaps as well. It's really yeah. amazing. Yeah, that's the one for me. I mean, look at that. That just looks great. It's classic. Yeah. Well, that's what I mean. You can't really beat it, can you? I love that because when you hear exclusive color, it, I feel like you think it's going to be loud. Yeah. And then that's just like, it's real, uh, sleek. it's simple, it's sleek. It's classy. Sleek. Yeah. Yeah. But I do, I don't mind a bit of the green, the olive. Right. That this is, good. yeah, this is a fun, fun color. I mean, in terms of what's impressed me the most is probably the pickups. I do really love the sound of them um, and how good they actually sound. Pickups are American-made, pure vintage, 65 Jazzmaster pickups, which are usually found in the American original at twice the price. Twice the price? Yeah. It's quite a deal. Getting mm -hmm. a bit of a deal there, aren't they? You are. I like it. When it's in you know, certain positions, the pickups, I do love that sound. Yeah. It can get really warm and also really dark, which mm. I like. It's also really fun to play rhythm guitar on and then also just slide into playing lead. Speaking of rhythm, we should talk about that. Um, these are routed for a rhythm circuit. Um, it doesn't have the rhythm circuit in it, but you know, a lot of players are drawn towards Fender because uh, you have this ability to customize them and make them your own with the pickups and the bridge and, and everything. So um, yeah, it is routed out or rooted the way that you say it. Um, for a, uh, a rhythm Sorry, circuit. Sorry, I've already called HR with, you know, they're, they're, they're <laughs> HR, all right. Just keep, keep it going, mate. See where it gets you. But yeah, you can put a rhythm circuit in it. It's routed. You don't have to do any routing. It's already there for you underneath the pick guard. Route 66. Route. Route. I'm taking a different route home. Tree route. Spelt differently, but it's still the same. <laughs> Mm -hmm. You do, don't you? Mm -hmm. yeah. I oh, play, wow. I, I play an Elvis Costello uh, signature jazz master, actually. Did he give you that shirt as well? He did, yeah. The shirt oh, came with goodness. it. Oh, my goodness. It's a good shirt. Thank I you. Really, I really business. didn't know that you played a jazz master. Yeah. This is, this is special news to me. Yeah, what what a day to learn this. Mm -hmm. Wow. I love <laughs> the vibrato system on a jazz master, and these don't yeah. disappoint either. I choose to play a jazz master because of the pickups mm. and because of that and just in combination I like to get behind the bridge a little bit and do yeah. some goofy stuff. Yeah. Fun. I like to fun. you know I like to I like to get weird with it. Let's keep talking about pickups. Pickups yes. are fun. What else can these jazz birds do? So, I mean, we can do from uh, series and parallel. So, um, we can go parallel when in positions two and three, which is a so nice. There's four uh, positions. There's four positions total, uh, which is a little bit different to the uh, standard series previously, which had the humbuckers. So it's quite fun. Mm -hmm. It is fun. Thank you. 
Yeah, um, I have the signature Elvis Costello. I love that. Um, there's a signature Lee Ronaldo also, and uh, lots of signature jazz masters out there. I love the feeling, yeah. Rick Ocasek plays the jazz master occasionally from the mm -hmm. Cars. Mm -hmm. um, what about you? You two? Who do you like? I mean, Nels Klein from Wilco Nels Klein, yeah. is I, number one that came to mind, and also one of my uh, favorite players of all yeah. time. I think for me, there's a few, but. A little bit more old school. Roy Clark, there's a clip of him playing mm -hmm. and blowing it away. And there's also, I only found out recently, but I've seen a clip of uh, Joe Pass. Obviously, the great Joe Pass playing one of these. Uh, obviously, he would have had flat wounds on it, and I was quite surprised at that because, I mean, obviously, Jazz Master, but they're not really used for jazz anymore, mm -hmm. or ever really. I kind of like mm -hmm. how many indie rock guitarists play this guitar. I have always wondered why they always kind of lean towards these guitars. I, don't, I genuinely don't know. I think that uh, a lot of um, artists who didn't have a lot of money but a lot of artistic integrity like Nirvana and Sonic Youth and stuff like that picked up these guitars from pawn shops and really made something really special with them and that influence has carried over now and I think people are just kind of like giving them a second look a little bit and yeah. and diving back into them and seeing that they're really pretty amazing guitars and um, you can do a lot with them. I don't own one but I certainly would like to get one. Yeah. Oh, are, you, are you getting one or what? Maybe. Treat gotta, yourself. I'm getting yeah. one, he's getting, you're get, we're all getting we're one. We're all getting one.